Look, I built, I mean, it got opened on the 16th October 2004. The main building, what you saw, mm. it was built in 14 months. That's around uh, 65,000 square feet built up. Mm. In 14 months, I built that, the, the main building. Acha, the main building. And, you know, there's certain areas which were left. The exteriors, mm. the building work was finished, but the interiors were subsequently, you know, done up. Okay. So there's some, some areas which have been uh, opened subsequently. Okay. Okay. And um, how, how popular do you feel that place is? Uh, in terms of influx of guests? We've done 11,000 room nights last year, last financial year. Achha. That is 31st March ending, okay. 2013. Wow, that's great. So, we're doing reasonably well. In the future, what do you plan to uh, make any changes to it? Changes? Well, it's an ongoing process. We, we've been <laughs> renovating. Every year we renovate about Eight to ten rooms. Hmm. So okay. those renovations are on. Okay. And uh, if somebody was coming to Randhapur to stay in that property, why would what would be a reason for them to stay there and not stay in another big fancy hotel like you have so many on that road? What is what do you think is the ESP? What is the speciality of that hotel? Why do why do a person come to Rajasthan? That's hmm. a big question. Right. And if you want to see the culture right. and uh, have an experience of a wildlife, right. living in a palace. Earlier also, the early Aristotle Maharajas, they used to build hunting palaces like Sariska Palace or Gajaneer Palace. Right. And prior to that also, the Mughals also built hunting palaces you know, mm. in the wilderness. You know, they used mm. to go for shooting. They used to take all the Lavajma, you know, the, all the paraphernalia and everything, you know, harem and everything. They used to be living there. Huh. So, it is a combo of uh, a palatial lifestyle. Hmm. Coming to Rajasthan, one expects that. Hmm. And uh, having a wildlife experience. I mean, going to uh, see the wildlife at Rantambo. The other thing which, which I personally feel, hmm. like, I don't know about the foreigners' site, they are... They, they're quite used to living in uh, far-flung places, mm -hmm. they're not. But at least the domestic, the Indians, you know, they, they feel a, a sense of security once they see the fort wall, the huge fort wall. They feel, you know, I mean, no wild animal will come inside. Or, so yeah. that's the, the sense of security also, right. you know, right. is there. Right. And, uh, Especially with the Indians uh, oh. and Indians living in the metros. 